Hi there. Today I'm going to show you the technique I use to edit my uh, landscape photos so I can uh, use them on uh, the internet, show it off to people, or maybe even sell it as a stock photo on my website. Uh, this is a quick uh, video and I won't go into all details of what I'm doing. So you just have to follow along and um, see uh, if you can apply this to your own photos. Of course I recommend you shoot in RAW. That means you have uh, a more flexibility now later in the editing. Uh, and this file is a RAW file from a Nikon camera. Okay, so the first thing uh, I do is uh, reduce the highlights. As you can see in the skies there, they get the, br the brightness. You get some more details in the clouds. And I increase the shadows. So you see the shadow part here comes um, in view. And uh, already now, if we compare the two images, you will see that uh, the one uh, on this side is a lot better already. But it still looks a little bit washed out, and uh, I would like to get some more colors in it. So, uh, um, what I would like to do now is to adjust the whites here until they almost clip. Uh, to do this you hold down the ALT key while you adjust the sliders. And the same on blacks, but I don't think I can bring them down. Actually, I have to bring them up a little maybe. And then I increase the contrast. around uh, yeah somewhere around there <coughs> okay uh, so all this is done only using the basic uh, slider here or the basic uh, panel if you will uh, now I would like to go down all the way down I have to jump a little uh, around here down to lens corrections, just remove chromatic aberration so you don't get those purple uh, purple lines here. And enable lens correction. And then I actually are going to go all the way down and under camera calibration, it's the, f the default is Adobe standard. But you can also select the um, uh, uh, other camera calibrations here. For example, camera landscape. This is what the, the camera would like to choose if you shoot in JPEG, I think. I'm not sure, but I think it's that. So if, you, if you see camera neutral and Adobe standard, well, they're not the same, but kind of and you have a standard they're almost the same camera standard uh, gives it a little more color I think and you have vivid and you have landscape so I think I will go with the uh, landscape and then uh, you have to try this as well. No, uh, not all, uh, it's not all the time uh, these uh, selections are good. Often I just keep it at Adobe standard, but I think this worked pretty good for this image. And then we go all the way up again. And I think I want to increase the exposure a little. It's a little too dark. Okay, that's too much. 
maybe maybe around there <clears throat> and if you see those red uh, things there that's where the image is clipping you have to click on those triangles here to uh, to get that yeah okay anyway um, increase the exposure and then I would like to increase the vibrance just a little bit but not too much maybe yeah around there and if we compare to, to the original now I think uh, the difference is I think you can see the difference. So you could actually say that the image is uh, done now. But if you want to give it a little more uh, uh, sunset uh, feel of it, you may go here down here to split toning and if you click on the highlights here the little gray box and you click on yeah you can select a color here or you can select a color from the panel here maybe orange around there it will um, change the highlight color a little so if we this is zero this is yeah, around 28 percent gives it uh, more of that afternoon uh, glow or golden hour and you can also adjust the white balance of course there is no rule here that, uh, that you have to have the correct but uh, it's up to you or we can use this uh, white balance selector click on the sky and maybe adjust it from there that's something I usually do it's not the best way to do it, you should have a grey card but yeah something like this maybe maybe some more yellowish Okay, so if we compare it now, I think it works. Just uh, need a little crop here, just to remove that road and the gravel. And I think we are, I think we are done. Okay, so hope you liked it. Take care and go out to take some uh, great photos. Bye bye.